What's up y'all? Today is Friday, July 8th. Happy Aloha Friday. I am about to walk into the theater here at Kapolei Commons and you know what day it is. It's Thor Love and Thunder Day. So I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one so I'm very very excited to see it. So I'll be right out with my initial out of the theater reaction as soon as it's done. Okay, what's up everybody? I'm back. Uh, it's it's a little windy so it might be a little hard to hear me. You might hear a lot of the wind. Uh, the GoPro does tend to pick up a lot of the wind here so uh, I'll do my best to kind of hold the camera close and, and speak clearly but I uh, just got out of, of Thor Love and Thunder and I'll keep this non-spoiler. It was very very fun. I had a really really good time throughout the whole movie from start to finish. Um, love the music, love all the performances from all the cast members. I think my favorite uh, parts of this was I definitely wanted a little more of King Valkyrie. I, I do love the, the King Valkyrie character so as a fan of, of the Valkyrie character I wanted a little bit more but I, I, I think it was okay uh, considering the story and everything and the flow of the movie but um, this was so much fun. I heard and all the reviews were really were really really positive and I have to say um, keeping in the positivity of all the reviews it, it's very 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 fun and very enjoyable the music and like I said you know um, the performances from the all the cast members and Christian Bale as Gore I have to say that was fucking amazing he did so well he, he's probably my favorite part of this movie I would have to say uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think everyone will have a lot of fun watching this movie. As a kind of side note, um, I don't know if anyone else here watches the John Campio show, but they have said that um, as, as far as the MCU goes, and as far as this movie contributing towards the bigger, the kind of bigger story of the, of the MCU moving forward, this this kind of just kind of stands alone and doesn't really progress the the whole MCU uh, moving forward um, if that makes any sense because it doesn't really go into uh, the mythology of, of anything and this this just kind of stands alone and kind of addresses all the issues of what like Thor is going through and uh, Jane Foster and what they're going through and even Korg and Valkyrie just kind of everyone's kind of like uh, like side story and kind of like well, what they're going through on the inside so um, that aspect of this story I really really liked and I really because I really love um, anything that has to do with like when, uh, mental health so when like the MCU and any anything anything MCU dealing with mental health I really really enjoy that they they address that that aspect so um, that I, I really really liked uh, a part of this movie so um, yeah overall this was a very good very fun very enjoyable movie I think everyone will um, everyone will have will have something to like about this movie even if you're not a fan of the MCU um, I think if you're coming into this as uh, not following the MCU I think that you will find something to enjoy about this movie um, even if you're just like just a fan of Thor um, you'll, you'll enjoy this movie thoroughly but uh, yeah that's my thoughts that's my uh, opinions I uh, hope I didn't leave anything out uh, uh, so Christian Bale my, my probably my favorite part of this movie as Gore the God Butcher and of course the music if you love like 80s uh, 80. I don't want to give away too much, but like you know, if, if you like that 80s uh, rock vibe, you'll definitely like the music choices in this one. So um, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you watched it, and let me know what you thought of this movie. And I'll see you guys in another video.